Wind turbines are popping up at record pace across the U.S. And thanks to growing concerns over natural gas prices and a desire for energy independence and incentives for renewable energy production, the trend is likely to continue. The Horse Hollow Wind Energy Center in southwest Texas is the largest in the world. Wind energy is a clean, renewable energy resource that has no impact on water, it has no impact on air emissions, and it has very little impact on the land around it, while at the same time creating a tremendous economic boom for many rural communities throughout the United States. Critics of wind power point to a price discrepancy, noting that construction costs for wind power generators can run double those of fossil fuel plants. So Supporters, meanwhile, counter that once wind facilities are constructed, there are no fuel costs. Remember, wind is free and maintenance is considered minimal, making wind power costs competitive. According to Mike Rivak from Siemens Power Generation, it's relatively easy to harness the energy in wind. You basically put a rotor on top of a tall tower. The wind blows the rotor, which is connected to a shaft which drives an electrical generator to produce ele electricity. The more towers, the more wind, the larger the generator and the larger the rotor diameter, the more energy is made. To date, more than 30 states boast wind plants, providing enough energy to power about 2.5 million homes. The goal of the American Wind Energy Association? For 6% of all homeowners in the U.S. to receive their electricity from wind by 2020. One of the biggest challenges facing our country is its growing population and finding a sustainable source of energy for that population growth. Each year more people consume more electricity with bigger homes, more powerful computers, cell phones, you name it. So one of the challenges facing the country is to harness how do you find more sources of power. And wind is one of the ways. And the U.S. isn't alone in realizing the power of wind. Germany, Spain, and Italy join America among the world leaders in wind capacity. And in Denmark, wind energy supplies 20% of that nation's total electricity demand. I'm Kate Brooks.